happy equinox vibes to everyone everywhere well technically we're not really in the peak of it until tomorrow because tomorrow is the equinox being the 22nd of september what's not to love double numbers so you've probably been seeing two 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 twos everywhere i know i have it's just everything i look at is two 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 twos and that is absolutely no doubt to do with the equinox um so that is tomorrow and and it's very it's obviously very pagan and very wiccan so those energies are very profound at the moment so i'm feeling a very very powerful pull to really get into the earth um and get out in nature so if you haven't maybe maybe do that um so yeah and i've also been witnessing a lot of amazing work that people are sharing on facebook at the moment there's there's almost like a, an, an an energy of celebration and kind of like you know just uh yeah very very um celebratory energy because i've been involved in some like in attending some really beautiful um facebook lives like a three i'm involved in a three day one at the moment and i know that there's other people that have been sharing their work as well and people are just bringing through some amazing beautiful lovely high frequency stuff and it just feels very um very much in celebration and it feels different to where it was before almost like oh, coming out now so that's really really special to be um receiving right now so to all my fellow light workers more power too yeah this is just awesome that it's just you know we're all out there as a collective you know and it's just become a little bit lighter a little bit though because i'm going to go into the energy check now because there's there's light but there's always dark right so Let's go into that now. So I've got a list here, like I always have. Um, so since Friday, Saturday, I started to experience very, very intense nausea. I would say probably peaked on Saturday. Now, with this <coughs> equinox, there is a gateway that has opened, a very powerful gateway. And what it's all about is, is equinox, obviously, is when the, when the whole planet comes into a balance. So, you know, so you've just got, so it's basically there's enough light um, in the day and there's enough dark in the night. Do you know what I mean? So there's that much day and there's that much night and it's in perfect balance. And what that does is it brings a powerful balance into planet Earth and within all of us. Um, and it's all about the masculine and feminine balance, which is what we've spoken about before about coming into union so you know it's it's um it's it's on a grand scale though because it's planetary so this is why everything feels quite big um <clears throat> so i've been feeling extremely sick and nauseous even today and the reason for that is there are codes within us and within the planet that are being activated so these crystalline codes have not been activated um since the atlantean days um, back in Atlantis and this is what this portal has opened up and is is that's what's that's what's happened so we can also remember we're going from a carbon-based body which is a very very thick heavy body in fact I believe that most of us are still you know are actually at that crystalline level I know a few people that are um, and you know we're a crystal ourselves because we are transmitters you know because we feel everything okay so we're just the same as a as a crystal crystal so yeah, so we're not exempt. You're going to feel this activation within yourself. And as I've always said, the activation brings extreme light within one's self. Um, and when that light comes in and it gets activated, you know, guess what gets shoved out? All the crap. So you're going to go with a purge. It's standard. All of these photonic rays, all of these upgrades we're going through, and now the now the masculine and feminine balance and the grid work of the planet, you're part of the grid work. You are part of the planet. You're part of all, right? So you're going to constantly feel this. So now all of a sudden we're going into, into this, this crystalline activation um, and there is almost like an energy of um, a reset. Now I've seen people sharing information on Ma'at, um, I'm actually going to do a separate Egyptian post on this because I've actually been working with Ma'at quite closely, like meaning channeling, channeling her every day um, to to work with with her energies. And then blow me down, people start sharing um, their work about Ma'at, who's an Egyptian goddess. She's the mother of all gods um, in, in my eyes and it has been written. And um, she is all about justice, balance. OK, I think reconciliation, even though that's not what she's known for, I experience her as reconciling. So all the shit that's coming up, you're going to find certain things coming up, which is 
old issues maybe to do with relationships you know um what i call old uglies within yourself so if you're controlling you're gonna feel really controlled if there's a dark side of you which we all have it's gonna show itself like now and that's and that's like got it's gotta go it's gotta go so let me just show you a picture of maat she's on my desk here so this is maat okay and she is you can see there she's got her that there is an ostrich feather and the heart and that's what she's known for but i'm only going to say so much about that about her purpose which is like balance and um you know and and justice and she's obviously you know cosmic truth so um she is the overlighting goddess so you know you live your life by her she's almost like the ten commandments in an egyptian goddess for me anyway she's up front and center and you know and she, that's who's guiding us right now to bring balance to all that is you are all that is like i said so the balancing is going to be also a place where it's actually wiping the slate clean we have gone through so much which is constantly going into the masculine and feminine balance heal this heal this heal this heal this and as we've done that we've gone up through the spiral we kind of like it's it's been like a pendulum swing between the masculine and feminine heal that heal that but we're going higher and higher and higher okay so we're not sticking in the same place we're just going higher up the spiral higher frequency so we are still balancing the masculine and feminine frequencies to come into union balance but this pocket where we've arrived now is it really feels like me uh, to me that we are being given an opportunity to literally get the 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 um the chalkboard wiper and just wipe everything off so it's completely blank and clean because where we're going now, I really feel like it's the next level of mastery. And I'll tell you why, what's happening in my life on the immediate levels and how I get my messages. So I've tried very, very hard this week to, um, to do, to kick off certain brand new um, energy training that I wanted to do with someone. There's other things like certain training to do with my new plan because I've, I've launched two businesses since lockdown and there's a lot of exciting stuff to come but this isn't the post for it but look out for it because I will post about that another day sidebar but my point is is all of this stuff that I'm actually really bringing into the world now so I've done all the root system on these businesses over lockdown and now it's like a time to go and put it out there in the world I've been trying so hard this week to do that and everything I've done I've either double booked myself and I've had to cancel my trainer who's supposed to be like working on me and with me has double booked herself Everything has just been shoved and I've tr to next week. And I've tried to, to engage with people because there's certain conversations I want to have about business. And they're like, can we do next week? So I was like, okay. So this is a pocket of just like, nah. You're doing nothing except let, letting the, the space be cleared for you, okay? Now, I've been in this energy all of last week. I know many of my friends who are um, in the healing realms went off on sabbaticals. People just, pff, enough. I was even in it the week before. So you could say, like, by the end of this week, I've given the best best part of two and a half weeks of just basically being in this quiet space, doing nothing and not pushing it. Because guess what? You push through this and it's going to just explode in your face. You have to be in flow and you have to be in alignment. So with that is a reset, a coming back to base camp and just taking a breath, taking a beat and coming back into this physical vessel. This physical vessel needs to be given some kind of props, some kind of like, you know, recognition because we have been through so much and we are still purging and we are still upgrading and all the rest of it. Even though you think nothing's really going on out there or whatever, your body is working so very hard to hold you and this new spirit and to purge the old codes it's had inside of it. It wants to bring in, it wants to bring in the new codes now. It needs to give you the, the brand new vessel of the new earth, right? And just because you think like nothing's going on in the outside much, let me tell you, there is shitloads going on in here. So you have to remember that, all right? So I've been bringing through a lot of channeled meditations with my clients when I've been working with them and I've just 
been bringing in this golden energy because the golden energy for me is the most powerfully healing and cleansing energy you can work with and i've just been almost just like you know soaking the body just like with this golden energy and just like soothing like softness and i've been bringing through a lot of the magdalene's energies if you look on my facebook page um i actually released a, a magdalene um restoration rejuvenation it was all about restore restore just rest you know and that's where we're at right now and I mean, you guys know me by now. I'm like a hill sprint kind of light worker. I'm like, go, 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 go. Let's, you know, go big or go home. So for me to bring through like, you know, meditations and channels of just like, and rest, that's saying something. So, you know, so if I'm slowing down, that is saying something. Um, because like I said, I've always got my spiritual Nikes on. I'm always on the go. So this is what I want to share with you right now. We're being brought all the way down to still point. Still point is that neutral space. And that's another thing I want to talk to you about as well is neutrality. That's what's happening with this balance. I've been working a lot with finding the neutral place. You've got your masculine and your feminine, right? But the, the neutral place to that is your heart. Okay, so that's a new, that's an example of the neutral place. You know, there's a, there's um, there's so many examples in our life which is basically showing us how to come to this neutrality. And this is the thing: you can't have this pendulum swing all the time. Spirit is putting its hands and 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 holding the pendulum there, and just stilling, just stilling everything. Just take a beat and breathe. That's where we're at. So, you know, neutrality is about not being like, oh, this is so exciting and so happy, woo! Nor is it about being severely depressed and just in the dark. We're working to find this neutral space. And in this neutral space, there isn't really fireworks. There's just this space of being okay with and being okay without. And knowing you're gonna be okay no matter what. And it's quite peaceful and it's quite quiet. And if you're experiencing that or there's something like that coming up, we think silence is bad. Something's going wrong. It's not. This is the neutral place. There's so much peace to be had here. So this is where we're actually moving to. So if you're already there and you're crambling, scrambling to get out of it because you think it's wrong, it's not. So just be still. So happy equinox to each and every one of you tomorrow we will be or i will be on facebook live at 2 p.m central africa time and i'm going to bring through my own because everybody's sharing so much amazing work and like i say it feels like a party so i'm going to join the party and i'm going to bring through a meditation i think we're going to do a bit of soothing and a bit of that energy stuff but I also have a feeling that I want to take you on a journey to go and connect with your druid self um, because we all have it inside of us all right and there's already a few channels that have been shown to me which are really cool and I think it would be quite fun to do um, to go and see your druid self you know your go meet your merlin um and for those of you that are in cape town and you're in person you can get here watch this space for this is just part of my new business with my business partner emma hey emma we've created a beautiful business called hedarian and we are going to be holding a workshop um and ceremony and that's all I'm going to say for now here in Cape Town, which is going to activate your druid codes within. I even have a hoofing great big oak tree in my garden and we're already working with him. We've already done many ceremonies there. So the prep work we've done and the root system we've done for this workshop and ceremony is, is pretty, pretty cool and very excited about it. So I would like to share just a smidge of that tomorrow. So if you feel that you want to receive... And you can make Facebook Live happy days. And if you can't, don't worry. You can actually pick up the recording later on. But anyway, for now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to send you a whole lot of love and light. Remember, neutral. <sighs> Peace. Thanks for watching.